A lot of swings in the market the past few days. The TPC has been once again added back into Ultimate Team. It's 37,000 training this time. Was kind of hoping this pack would not come back instantly after they just removed it this past week, but it's here. Uh, but the market actually has stayed relatively low. It has not risen like we saw around the first time, but I've got three investments that we're gonna be making over the next few weeks, two of them just for this week. The third one, more of a uh, in the future investment. Let's get into it. First up, we have 94 overall weekly wild cards, specifically 94 overalls. A price point for these would be probably under 75K, but you can buy them under 80,000 coins if you want. The reasoning behind this investment is simply that we are getting 99 overall weekly wild cards this next Tuesday. We've been having 98 overall weekly wild cards, and our set requirement is 296s and 393 overalls. And once that becomes 99 overall, I expect that to be 297s and 394 overalls. And taking a look at 93 overalls right now, they're still going for 65k to 70k on average. Uh, not double, but close to double what a normal 93 goes for. Another example of the reasoning and why this is a, you know, I, I like this buy as of right now. Uh, if we go to 93 overalls prior to there being 98 overall weekly wildcard sets in the game, they were going for 55k to 57k. That was at least the Monday before Tuesday. Tuesday hits, we get 98 weekly wildcard sets. They jump all the way up to 120k. Uh, I mean, the, the simple reason is the 96 overalls are usually involved in some sort of bundle topper, whereas the 93 overalls, and now it's going to be the 94 overalls, are just a little bit harder to pull in standard weekly wildcard packs. Now, I don't think these cards double like they did for 93 overalls, but I think a very simple rise of 75, 80k to 100 and 110k is very, very realistic. The only way these cards don't go up is if they are somehow not involved in the sets. The next investment is also going to be one that we are buying right now and going to be selling next week. The week wild cards, by the way, you're going to want to sell Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. But this one is 95 overall draft pass players, I would say for under 100,000 coins. The reasoning behind this investment is simply the draft rookies they drop on Thursday night during the first round of the NFL draft. Picks two through nine are going to be 98 overalls. Uh, draft players are confirmed. We just don't know the exact overalls, but I'm assuming they're going to be the same as last year. Now, the 98 overalls are going to require 395 overalls. The 99 overall player of the first round pick required 297s, no 95s, but, you know, picks two through nine are still some of the best players in the game. The best players that are released, a lot of people want to use the rookies, and so 95 overalls are heavily required. You can still invest in 97 overalls. The reason I'm not like going all out on them, I'm going to buy a few, is they are significantly above what a normal 97 goes for. 97 overalls go for like 225k right now. They're still 280. Like they are overpriced. Meanwhile, 95 overalls are one of the cheapest training you can buy on the market right now under 100k. So 95 overalls have like zero risk involved. They're going to be involved at some point uh, in the draft part two promo. I'm, I'm hopeful that it's going to be in the 98 overall draft sets. And uh, just to give you an example, last year, the 95 overalls were going for around 60 to 65K, and they went all the way up to 100 and to 120K the night of the draft. They usually drop the Thursday night first round rookies like an hour or two after the draft concludes. So you are going to have to be on uh, to, to sell those cards because they aren't going to stay expensive super long. But I think the 95 overall draft players right now, like 100K to 140, 150 is very, very reasonable. And the last and final investment I would recommend right now. Now, I don't know if I would recommend during the TPC being out, but it's just going to be generally training. Uh, if you weren't involved at all in the Easter uh, investing for training leading up to Easter eggs coming out, we were sort of just in a process of buying training under 1.8 then and then lazy selling it for 2.2, 2.3 while we were waiting for training to eventually go up because of Easter eggs. Now, Easter eggs never really happened, but training still went up during the Easter program. The only difference this time around is we're kind of waiting for golden tickets. You can buy training and I would still say only buy 96 overalls and above. It's just, it's too efficient. Uh, if you start buying 92, 93s, 94s, you're gonna find it just takes way too long to not only buy them, but sell them when the training market goes up. He has 96, 97 overalls. My price point right now is probably somewhere around 1.5 to 1.4 and under. Uh, that's the new 1.8 per that we were buying prior to Easter. This time it's 1.4, 1.5 per prior to golden tickets. So you have like a week, week and a half until golden tickets come out. I expect training to probably get up to like 1.8, 1.9 at these high overalls when golden tickets eventually get released into TVPs, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I don't really have set prices for where I'm selling cards at because I have yet to actually start buying training been kind of working to get my coins up to 300 mil uh, just to get the screenshot and i'm going to start investing and i'll get involved with you guys 
in the investment so i would say probably like buying 96 overalls i think the price is like 155k you got to buy under maybe list for like 190 195 to where you're making 15 to 20k after tax on those 97 so i think it's like 225k you've got the binder i'll throw up the, the trading spreadsheet see if there's the exact numbers but i would buy like under 225 ish and maybe sell like 260 270 so you're making a decent coins now they aren't all gonna sell that's how it's what we know um you're gonna list 20 you'll probably sell four to five if you have 20 up at that like inflated price but while we wait for these cards to eventually go up when gold tickets get released you might as well just list them overpriced and if they sell they sell you make 10 to 20k profit after tax so that's really all i wanted to talk about in this video a little bit of a shorter video but i'm not gonna you know beat around the bush there's three investments i'm making those are three investments that i like and that there's not much else to talk about in the market so comment if you have any questions like if you have enjoyed subscribe if you are new and until next time peace